Hey everyone, my name is Gabe Scully from the Scully Twins. It's been so long since I haven't taught you a class, so I'm glad to be back. We'll do a 30 minute vinyasa class. I'll see you on your mat and make sure to subscribe to the channel and leave a like on this video. Hey everyone, we'll start in a seated position. You can cross your legs, put the back of your hands on top of your knees, palm of your hands facing up. Bring your thumb and index finger together. Keep a nice long spine, take a deep, Inhale with your nose, and on your next exhale, gently close your eyes. I want you to take the next few moments to focus on your breath, as it will guide your practice. It is really important to maintain a deep inhale with your nose, a slow and controlled exhale with your nose throughout the whole class. You want to connect yourself with your inner breath, and bring all your thoughts on those two actions to remain present in this moment. I'll start the class with a breathing exercise. So basically we'll take three deep inhale and on each inhale we'll take a hold and then we'll exhale everything through the nose. So you can just follow me. We'll First, start with a deep inhale with your nose. Exhale everything with your nose. And now we can all start, take a deep inhale. Hold your breath. Inhale. Hold. Again, inhale. Hold for 10. Exhale everything with your nose. Again, inhale deeper. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold. Exhale. For the last one, we'll hold 30 seconds. Take a deep inhale. Hold. Again, inhale. Hold. Inhale. Hold for 30. Exhale. Inhale, open your arms up. Interlace your 10 fingers and turn your palm of the hands facing the sky. On your exhale, round your back, bring your hands forward, bring your chin in, look your belly button. Inhale, bring your arms up, open your chest up. Exhale, round your back. Again, inhale. Arms up, open your chest. Exhale, round your back. Inhale, arms up. On your exhale, release. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Take a deep inhale, open your arms up again. Exhale, right hand on top of your left knee, left hand back. Inhale, belly in. Exhale, twist. Again, inhale, belly in, exhale, twist. The last one, inhale, belly in, exhale, twist. And come back towards the center. Change, bring your left hand on top of your right knee, right hand back, inhale, belly in, exhale, twist towards your right. Inhale, belly in, stretch up, exhale, twist. 
for the last one. Inhale, belly in. Exhale, twist. And come back. Great. You'll walk forward with your hands. Keep your glutes on your mat and release your head. Push yourself up, come back to a seated position. Change the crossing of your legs. And you can go back into your posture. So walk forward with your hands, keep your glutes on your mat and release your head forward. Push yourself up, come back to a seated position. Then you lean forward, come on all fours. So make sure to bring your hands directly underneath your shoulders. Bring your elbows in so that your biceps are facing forward. Take a deep inhale, look up, push your belly down. On your exhale, bring your chin in, look your belly button, push with your hands and round your back. Inhale, look up, push your belly down, open your chest. Exhale, round your back. Again, inhale, chest up, gaze up, push your belly down. Exhale, round your back. Come back towards the center. Keep your knees aligned with your hips and just walk forward with your hands until your forehead touches down. If you feel comfortable, you can always put your chin down. So just do what feels good for you. Bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Turn your left thumb up facing the ceiling and bring your right foot behind your left foot. So here I want you to imagine you're pulling your left hand towards you to feel a nice stretch on the left side of the body. Bring your right knee down. Bring your left hand underneath your left shoulder, right arm forward, thumb facing up. Bring your left foot behind your right foot and start pulling your right hand towards you. So your hand is not moving. Just imagine you're pulling your right hand towards you to feel a nice stretch on the right side of the body. Come back on all fours, left knee down, right hand underneath your right shoulders. And here you'll inhale, bring your right arm forward, left leg back. On your exhale, move your torso towards your right, your left leg towards your left. Come back, exhale, right knee, I mean left knee, right elbow. Inhale, right arm forward, exhale towards your right. Inhale, come back, exhale. Inhale forward, exhale towards your right. Inhale, come back, exhale, right elbow, left knee. Inhale forward, exhale, release. Inhale, left arm forward, right leg back. Exhale towards your left. Inhale, come back. Exhale, left elbow, right knee. Inhale forward. Exhale towards your left. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Right knee, left elbow, the last one. Inhale forward. Exhale towards your left. Inhale, come back. Exhale. Inhale forward. Exhale, release. 
tuck your toes in, lift your hips, push yourself into a downward facing dog. Make sure to create as much space as you can by bending your knees one at a time, move your head, maybe move your hips. Just try and be comfortable here in your posture. Come to a place of stillness into your down dog. Take a deep inhale, go on the tip of your toes. On your exhale, bring both of your heels down towards your right so that your toes are facing the left side of the room. Make sure to bring your hips up and keep bringing your chest towards your thighs to feel a nice stretch on the left side of your body. Inhale, go on the tip of your toes. On your exhale, bring both of your heels towards your left so that your toes are facing the right side of the room. Inhale, lift. Exhale, bring your heels down. Inhale, go on the tip of your toes, roll into a plank. Put your knees, chest, and chin down. Slide forward, cobra. Don't push with your hands, only work with your lower back. Bring your toes in, lift your hips, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, followed by your left foot. With your right hand, grab your left ankle. Make sure to lock your left knee, bend your right knee, and open your left arm up. Change with your left hand, grab your right ankle. Lock your right knee, bend your left knee, and open your right arm up. Gaze up. And release. Inhale, long spine. You can put your hands on your chin. Exhale, release. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. So keep your feet separated, hips distance apart. Take a deep inhale, open your arms up. Interlace your 10 fingers, release your index finger. Slowly bend your knees, go down towards your right. Touch the ground with the tip of your fingers, come up towards your left, open your chest, and go down again. We'll do five on each side. So you should be feeling a nice stretch on the right side and the left side of the body. Obviously, make sure to bend your knees when you go down and lock them when you come up. For the last one, exhale down. Inhale, come up towards your left. Stop at the center and exhale, go down towards your left. Inhale, open your chest towards your right. And let's add four more. So there's no specific alignment to have here. You just need to feel the space and the stretch on each side of your body. The last one, inhale, come up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. And we'll start the class with some traditional Soya Namaskar, so you can follow my lead. Come to the top of your mat, feet together, toes on one line. Bring your hands to the center of your chest. Inhale, arms up, belly in. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, right foot back, right knee down. Inhale, arms up, push your right hip forward. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, plank. Put your knees, chest, and chin down. Slide forward, cobra. Tuck your toes, downward dog. Inhale, right leg up. Exhale, right foot forward, followed by your left foot. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Let's go for the left side. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, left foot back, left knee down. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, right foot back, plank. Put your knees, chest, and chin down. Again, slide forward, cobra. Tuck your toes, downward dog. 
inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot fall forward, followed by your right foot. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Let's follow this with two Surya Maska A. No jump back for the first one. Let's just do a proper Chaturanga and then we'll go for the more fancy stuff. So inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, plank pose. So the first step for a nice chatuan guys is to lean forward. So go on the tip of your toes. Shoulders should go forward as much as you can. Then you want to bend your elbows. Keep them close to your body. Release your toes. Inhale, push yourself up. Upward facing dog. Roll your shoulders back. Tuck your toes in. Downward facing dog. Let's stay here for three breaths. Go on the tip of your toes, bend your knees, bring your butt back. You can walk or jump. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, release. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, bring your hands to the center of your chest. Good job. Let's add a second one. If you feel like doing a jump back, feel free to do it. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, fold forward. Inhale, long spine. Exhale, jump back, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Bring your feet together. Go on the tip of your toes. Bend your knees, bring your butt back. Look forward and jump into a chair arms up, exhale, fold forward, inhale, long spine, exhale, jump back, Chaturanga, inhale, upward dog, exhale, down dog, bring your right foot forward, left heel down, arms up, warrior one, keep both of your hips facing the front of the room. Exhale, bring your hands down. Right foot back, plank. Lean forward, bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, down dog. Left foot forward, right heel down, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Left foot back, plank. Lean forward, bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Let's move back into a warrior one again. Right foot forward, left heel down, arms up. Now you can lock your right knee and fold forward. If you need to, you can always keep a nice bend a small bend into your right knee to put your hands down. But if you feel comfortable, try to keep your right knee locked. Rebend into your right knee, bring your arms up. Now you can interlace your 10 fingers behind your butt. Inhale, roll your shoulders back, create some space. On your exhale, humble warrior. Lean forward. Try to bring your head towards the ground and your 10 fingers interlock towards the front of the room. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bring your hands down. Right foot back, plank. Lean forward, bend your elbows, Chaturanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. Bring your left foot forward, right heel down, arms up, warrior one. Lock into your left knee and fold forward. Bend your left knee, bring your arms up. 
interlace your 10 fingers behind your glute inhale roll your shoulders back open your chest up exhale fold forward inhale arms up exhale bring your hands down left foot back plank and you know what to do let's go for or chaturanga inhale up dog exhale down dog inhale right leg up exhale right foot forward and inhale bring your right arm up bring your gaze up keep your chest open without losing your balance go into a high lunge bring both of your arms up then we'll twist towards your right bring your hands to the center of your chest left elbow outside your right knee take a deep inhale on your exhale push with your hands open your chest create some space if you can open your arms and if you want to add in a bind go ahead and do so inhale arms up exhale bring your hands down right foot back plank Lean forward, bend your elbow, Shatuanga. Inhale, up dog. Exhale, down dog. Keep the breath going. Inhale, left leg up. Exhale, left foot forward. Inhale, left arm up. Without losing the balance, bring both of your arms up, high lunge. Bring your hands to the center of your chest, twist towards your left. Inhale, on your exhale, push with your hands, open your chest up. You can take your options if you feel like so. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, hands down, left foot back, plank. Lean forward, bend your elbows, Shatuanga. Inhale, upward dog. Exhale, downward dog. With your left hand, grab your right ankle. If you, can, if you cannot, go grab your right knee. And look underneath your right armpit, twist towards your right. Change, put your left hand down. Right hand, grab your left ankle or if you cannot, grab towards your left knee and look underneath your left armpit. Put your right hand down, find your downward dog. Go on the tip of your toes, roll into a plank and lay down on your belly. Bring your right arm towards your right, your right chin down, push with your left hand and turn on your right hip. If you feel comfortable, you can always bring your left foot behind your right ankle, behind your right leg. Come back towards the center. Bring your left arm towards your left, left cheek down, push with your right hand, and turn on your left hip. If you feel comfortable, bring your right foot back. Come back towards the center. You'll bring your right arm underneath your chin towards your left. Put your chin down, left arm alongside your body.
push with your left hand, remove your right arm, and change. Bring your left arm towards your right. Right arm alongside your body. Try to bring your forehead down. Bring your right hand underneath your right shoulder. Push with your right hand, remove your left arm. Bring both of your hands underneath your shoulders, tuck your toes in and push yourself into a plank. Good. From there you can lift your hips, move into a downward dog. Then you're gonna go on the tip of your toes, bend your knees, bring your butt back, look forward, and try to jump with your legs crossed in between your hands. Bring your legs forward. Bring your hands underneath your shoulders, fingers facing forward, forward. Roll your shoulders back, open your chest, point to your toes, push with your hands, contract your glutes, and bring your hips up towards the ceiling. Try to really open your shoulders here to create some space. Contract your glutes and push your hips. You can release your head or not, so just do what makes you feel comfortable here. Gently go down. Bring your feet on the floor, arms forward. Keep your toes on your mat and slowly roll down, roll down without lifting your toes. Bring your feet closer to you so that you're able to touch your heels with the tip of your fingers. Lift your glutes, interlace your 10 fingers underneath your butt. Then roll your, bring your shoulders closer together to create some space. Push with your feet, lift your hips, and bring your 10 fingers interlock down towards the ground. Release, bring your glutes down. Bring your knees towards your chest. Open your arms sideways. Let both of your knees fall down towards your right. And bring your gaze towards your left. Engage your core, bring your both of your knees to the center of your chest. Gently bring both of your knees towards your left. Bring your gaze towards your right. Bring both of your knees to the center of your chest. Give yourself one last hug before moving into your Shavasana. Bring both of your heels to each corners of your mat. You can take more space on your mat, separate your legs and your arms to release everything down. You can close your eyes gently. Keep a small gap in between your lips. Remove your thong from the roof of your mouth. Release your shoulders down. It was a pleasure practicing with you today. I hope you have an amazing day. And I also invite you guys to subscribe to the channel and like the video if you feel generous today. Also make sure to share with your friends the class and uh, I'll see you in the next class.